Hey, this is a real quick little video showing how to add irrigation channels to a surgical guide in Mesh Mixer. Now you can cut these with a burr after you have the guide printed, but I like to do it digitally so I don't risk breaking the surgical guide after I've had it printed. So in Mesh Mixer, under the Edit button, there's a little feature called Add Tubes. When you select that, you've got these options down through here. Spline inside is the most important one. Just match up your selections to what I have here. And the radius I like to use is a one millimeter radius. That'll create a two millimeter channel. So we position the little red nod nodes so that it's on the outside and the inside, right where the right where the sleeve the bottom of the sleeve is. So you just do your best positioning. And then once you accept it, you can see where it's positioned. And sometimes you can't tell when you're putting them on in the beginning, but this one is too high on the outside. So I just do control Z, it backs you up and you just adjust them a little bit, both outside and inside. And you get it right where the water, right where the the sleeve, uh, the bottom of the sleeve is, so that so that the irrigation will come out right where the drill is touching the bone. You can push cold sterile saline through here, and it will be very effective at, at helping to cool the bone. Since a lot of the water is of especially in external irrigation, a lot of the water is blocked from getting to the actual osteotomy site. So these little external irrigation channels give you the ability to keep the bone nice and cool while you're drilling. In this case, I'm putting one on each side. Um, you really want to put them on the side that it's easiest for the assistant to get to. Uh, depending upon which way you're uh, orienting your handpiece, uh, either the either the right side or the left side, and depending upon whether you're a left-handed or a right-handed operator, which side your assistant will be on. So, just kind of in this case, I just put one on each side. And after this is done, you just go down and export this, save it back out to your hard drive. And when it prints, the irrigation channel will be right there. Okay, that's about all there is to it. It's pretty simple, quick and easy. Take your surgical guide in the mesh mixer, pop in some irrigation channels, and you're all set.